Hi, I'm Todd, a uh, member of the staff here at Fleet Feet. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about shoe categories. Most people come in and they ask, what's the best shoe for me to be in? Well, that depends entirely on what category of shoe you need to be in. And that, in part, depends on whether you're an overpronator or a supinator, or what you're doing with the shoe. What, uh, what specific surfaces are you running on? What are you looking to do in terms of training for the shoe? So let's start first with shoe categories and pronation. Everybody pronates as they go through that gait cycle. And most people are neutral runners and they pronate in that midfoot stretch and then they roll directly off of the toe. For those folks, they need a neutral shoe and a neutral shoe is a nice lightweight, provides you some good cushioning, uh, maximized cushioning if uh, you're looking for that. But the, the average runner can be in a neutral shoe and can easily be corrected with a couple of other things uh, in terms of uh, super feet insoles or something like that. For those people who underpronate or supinate, <clears throat> the best thing for them is a shoe that has max cushioning. And so what we look for in, in, for those folks is a shoe like the Nimbus or a, a shoe like the Hoka and provides that maximum amount of cushioning because they will land on the outside of their foot and they stay toward the outside of their foot rather than rolling onto the mid midfoot and rolling off of the toe. So we've got to cushion that outside of that foot so you don't feel that uh, constant impact. For those people who overpronate, they're actually rolling through the foot and coming off the inside before they roll off of the toe. And that can be caused by a couple of different things, either collapsing arches, uh, an injury, a current injury, or a past injury. And in some cases, people just tend to start overpronating as they get tired in those longer runs and their arches collapse. What we look for then is to put people in a stability shoe which provides that medial post and provides them the additional support on the medial side uh, so that they, it starts to correct that overpronation but most specifically it provides more durability in the shoe and we can look to things like a super feet insole to help correct some of that overpronation and keep them rolling off the toe and keep them more efficient in their gait cycle. So those are the three main categories of shoes that we look to. And you can tell a lot by the shoe you need based on the wear pattern on the bottom of your shoe. So flip the old running shoe over that you're, that you're wearing right now. See where your wear, wear pattern is. Is it spread evenly across the shoe? You're a good neutral runner. Is it on the inside of your shoe, the medial side? Then you're an overpronator. If you're wearing your shoes out on the outside, you're a supinator. You need more cushioning in that shoe. A couple of other specialized categories of shoes that we carry here at the Fleet Feet, that minimalist shoe, other people will call that a racing flat or a road flat. That's that lightweight, low profile shoe that uh, people like to run those 5Ks and those 10Ks in. We also have two specialized categories of uh, shoes. The minimalist shoe, or what some people will call a racing flat or a road flat. Uh, that's that very low profile shoe, that four millimeter or zero millimeter drop from heel to toe. That lightweight, fast shoe that people like to run their 5K races and their 10K races in. We do have a couple of shoes in that minimalist category if you're looking for a shoe like that. Uh, the other shoe category that uh, we carry is the trail shoe, and for obvious uh, reasons, uh, that, that trail shoe kind of speaks for itself. Those folks that are out there are running a lot of the off-road, the trails, the knobby outsole on that for additional grip, and, uh, and a little bit more of a durable upper on that shoe as well. Uh, so we do carry uh, a limited uh, line of trail shoes. Uh, so what we're going to do when you come here to Fleet Feet, we're going to take you through our fit process. We're going to pick the right category issue for you. We're going to make sure that you're in that right category, and then you'll try on uh, two or three pair of shoes, and you'll pick which one feels the best. And you're going to walk out a satisfied customer. That's our goal. Thanks, and look forward to seeing you here at Fleet Feet.